hi everybody welcome back to the channel it has been a while since we started working on Elvis so welcome back if you've been here before and hello if you're new and haven't um, we've been working on the beauty of horror uh, haunt of fame number five uh, Elvis and uh, we're doing his um, jumpsuit so I'm just going to carry on colouring and I'm going to talk to you and let you know a bit about what's been going on. Now every year I do exactly the same thing. I say I'm going to have all these plans in December and then December gets so busy I just don't have the time and that's what happened again last December. So I couldn't do any film, very much filming. I did the weekly vlog and that was about it. Um... So I didn't do any colouring charts. I didn't finish uh, a buddy colour I was supposed to do. I didn't finish Colouropoly. I have just been so busy and so tired. It just got away from me. So I made myself a sort of resolution that uh, in December 2022, I am not gonna make any firm plans. I'm just gonna colour as and when I feel like it. If I get a chance to make a video, I will. But I am not going to pressure myself and make myself feel bad if I can't do it. I'm saying it now. December is going to be my kind of relaxed month. So I'm just getting back into things now. Uh, Jennifer is going to nursery for a few more hours a week, an extra six hours in fact, which is great. It means I can, uh, I've got I've got four hours spare. I think, well, you just said six. On Friday, I take my father shopping because he doesn't drive anymore uh, so uh, when I finish work at one o'clock I will be taking him shopping before I pick her up at three and then I will uh, that gives me two days to do other things in those hours and a lot of that will be eBay because I want to get that up and running properly again and actually try and earn some money <laughs> this year uh, well I didn't lose money last year but I didn't make a lot um, I've got to do my tax return I still haven't done it I must try and get into my tax account in the next couple of days uh, and if not just ring them up and get the thing. It only takes 10 minutes to do it, it doesn't take a long time so it's ridiculous that I'm just not doing it. So I just thought I'd come on, do a bit of this one and then we'll uh, you know, have a chat. So Jennifer is fine, Paul's fine. If you watch the weekly vlog, you know all this. We've just got an exercise bike because we both need to try and lose a bit of weight. Paul's been doing it, I haven't started yet. I'm just so tired at the moment. As usual, I've got 10 million things to do. <laughs> um, but, th but that's okay, that's the way it is. I, I didn't buy very many colouring books. If you've seen my haul, you'll know, I think it was seven, or something like that in total. Um, I've ordered one this month, which is the new Hannah Lynn, because I haven't got that one yet. But other than that, I just have not been bothering uh, buying them. I'm, well, it's very expensive January, uh, February, and, uh, December and January, with Christmas. Uh, I've also got my dad's birthday in December. His birthday is Christmas Eve. And then I've got Paul's birthday next week. It's on Tuesday. And then at the end of the month, of course, it's Jennifer's birthday. So it's a very, very expensive time, as you can imagine. So, you know, it's just a matter of just dealing with it and just trying to do what we can um, financially. But So I've ordered that one. I can't see me ordering much else. And it's only because I really want that book. So it's just been so <laughs> manic. I'm just doing what I can with my life. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Probably about half an hour to 40 minutes. I don't want it to be too long because I've got to get to bed. It's getting on at work tomorrow. But like I said, I, I you know, I want to get back into filming, even if they're shorter. You know, it's going to be good fun. So uh, I have been watching some YouTube. I found a, a great new channel. Well, it's not new, it's been around for a while, but I've just discovered it, so it's all new to me, and it's called Adventures with Purpose, and it's about this team in America of uh, underwater dive and recovery people. They started off clearing rivers of debris, like um, mobile phones, iPads, cameras, things that people just drop in, just general trash as well, to try and clear up the area for an environmental purpose, and they do all this for free. 
in one of their videos they, they were pulling cars. I haven't got to this because I'm watching them backwards. Apart from the fact that I'm watching a full part story at the moment which I'm actually watching in order. And this car, I've only seen a clip of it, I've seen a clip of it on another video. Um, they pull the car out of this water and then it goes, call the police call the police there's a body in the car obviously and um, so what they now do is they've moved away from I mean they still do it you know recovering uh, rubbish and stuff when they can but they do a trip every year in the fall where they go around the country responding to requests for assistance from missing people who may have gone into the water uh, usually in a vehicle um, and they use their sonar equipment and they go up and down uh, rivers and lakes and ponds and reservoirs looking for these vehicles and these lost people to reunite with their family they do not charge for this they are completely funded through uh, donations uh, their YouTube channel Adventures with Purpose um, so the ad revenue on there then there's also they do have the membership scheme they have um, a shop so they have merch that you can buy and it's all funded like that and they go and they do this for free so if you're in the United States and you have or know of somebody who may have gone missing um, and it's possible a vehicle a vehicular incident that may have gone into the water whether it be an accident or a suicide you can reach out to them and ask them to come and help and they could well come and help you. They've helped many people. They think they've recovered 16 loved ones. 16 families have now got closure on where their relative ended up. Um, they've been able to lay their remains to rest properly in a grave. Some of these people are, are, are accidents. Uh, there was one very sad accident when I watched. Um, some of them are people committing suicide. Um, a couple of them have been Vietnam vets, which I find extremely sad that they, you know, with dementia and they've just driven and gone straight into the end, end of a road, straight into the water, gone, whether it's suicide or, or not, or just because they're not sure what they're doing. I don't know, some of them are definitely suicides and it is very sad. And some of them are accidents that this is necessary but it, it's a very good job they do they're very very good very very professional um group their videos are short documentaries they're not just like video like i'm doing it's got full editing it, it's you never see anything um bad you never see the remains they're very respectful so you will see the car being pulled but they will never show you the interior they will never show you anything that could be construed as a body you know and and you can hear they, they dive when they find a, a thing they actually dive down and check the vehicle they try and get the license plate because that's the best way of identifying a vehicle and they there was one where jared he's the main guy i think uh, he seems to be <laughs> main presenter anyway was diving and he said i put my hand through the window and I felt what I thought was a skull and that's as close to what you get though and the one I'm watching they did find a bone but it's not said whether it's human or not um, in, a, in a body of water but it's just a bone there's nothing else um, so it is very good they rely on things like I said their YouTube revenue from their ads so if you're interested in cold cases and missing persons um, say perhaps you watch Gabulosis or somebody like that it's another great channel I love go check out Adventures with Purpose it's so well done and it does make you think it makes you think and it's so sad um, I think they're fantastic. I'm looking forward to the newest video, which is coming out on the 14th of this month, I think. Again, it's sad because they find the remains of a person that has been missing for a while. But the fact is they find that person and that person can be reunited with their family and laid to rest properly. They call it bringing them home. And I, I like that. I think we're going to be bringing you home. Because if these people were in there, you know, because anybody who commits suicide is in so much pain. Anyone with, with dementia, sometimes they just don't know what they're doing. They would not 
in their right mind, want their loved ones to suffer not knowing. So they w probably would be relieved to know that they're going home. And they are going home. And they'll be reunited with their families. And their families can then get, hopefully, some kind of closure. Now, they don't always find what they're looking for. And there have been a few episodes where they've shown you that they don't find that particular person. They may find a vehicle that has somebody in it, but it's not the person they're looking for. They may find a vehicle that has nothing in it. There was a couple where they were just looking for missing persons who may have gone into the water. One was a, um, a young a Mexican guy who had gone swimming and just vanished in the water. They didn't find him, but he did turn up a few days or weeks later. His body was recovered at some point in the future. Another one was of a missing 10 year old boy who's been missing since 2012, I believe. Yeah, he'd be 20 this year, 2012. Um, purported that he may well have been murdered by his stepmother. Um, so very, very sad story, that one. And he, they didn't find him. They didn't find anything that could potentially be anything to do with him. Although what they did find is they'd been searching in that area a few years back before they when before they were doing the body recovery there was when they were just cleaning up lakes for an environmental reason um and they did come across a wed a red wed a red wagon child's wagon um could it have been this boy that went missing they knew nothing about this boy at the time um and in this particular one they find things like pickup trucks and things and they're saying oh were you looking for anybody with a pickup truck in this area and they're like no but the detective for the area has said they've got a hundred missing persons cases in that area and it could well be that that is one of them so they would pass the details then to the officer and they'd mark the site and uh, you know let them know so as soon as they find a vehicle that has remains in it they stop what they're doing and they call the sheriff the police and then the police come out and if they've got their own dive team etc recovery team they should take over and adventures with purpose then just say look if you need us to help we've got the equipment we can help you uh, as sometimes they do but if not we're happy to let you obviously carry on we're, ju we're just here for the families and that's what they're for and they try and give the the license plates to the families because they're sort of a nice memento you know it's sentimental so it is a very very sad channel but it's also very very good it's a brilliant brilliant uh, I'm trying to think, oh, his boots dark grey, maybe? What is my microphone called black though? I'm just thinking to myself, I don't want to just keep doing red all the time because that's so boring. But yeah, so Adventures with Purpose, go check them out if you're interested in that sort of uh, cold case missing persons thing. Because, oh god, something touched me, it's the cat. <laughs> hey Zed. Hey baby, okay? He just touched my arm and it frightened me. <laughs> oh dear. Dear, dear, dear me. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, go check them out because any revenue they get from their uh, ads on their channel, it will go towards um, helping with new equipment, new... Uh, stuff like that so they do travel around the country in an rv um they need to replace the rv because the rv as they say is held together with duct tape so i mean obviously that's very expensive so any help any donations will be appreciated i'm sure from them um it's the sort of thing i'd donate to i might buy some merch if, if they ship to the uk i'll have a look at getting some merch to help them out um if i had lots of money i would definitely donate even though they are american and I'm in the UK, so they only do obviously American cases, which is understandable. Um, but yeah, I think it's a very, very worthwhile cause. And I think they are, they do a brilliant job of helping families and that's what they do. And I've rambled on about this channel for a good while now, but I just want to say how much I good, good I think they are, how brilliant I think they are with what they do and that they deserve all the support they can get. There's a few other channels that do as well, but I've, I've really only watched this one. And there's another one called Chaos Divers who sometimes they work with. And sometimes if 
Adventures with Purpose can't find somebody, Chaos Divers come back and continue the search later and they have solved a couple of cases that way um, together, which is wonderful. So please check them out, you know. I think they, you know, they deserve it. They're brilliant. So that's that. Um, my reading has been going really well. If you watch the vlog, you'll know about that because I do talk about it a fair bit. Uh, mainly because when it's quiet there's not a lot going on and uh, I've got nothing else to, to put on there so I talk about books. Uh, I have currently, well last year I read 223 books, my original goal was 75, I then upped it to 150, I left it at 150 and I cleared 223 so I set my goal this year at 200 and as of the sixth, I have finished five books. I'll admit, one of them was a short story, a book or novella, and that was H.P. Bain's Golf Ghosts of Christmas Pass, which is a Braddock and Garrett Grey Files. Um, another one was quite a short one called Poison in Paddington. It was still good, but it was a short one. Um, so just so, just so you know, I'm just putting it out there that... Uh, 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 Cold Grey... 70, cold, grey, 90, that's fine. I'm just, just looking at the colours. It, it's all really good that the reading at the moment. I've started reading Thomas Hardy, The Return of the Native. This will take me a bit longer because it is a classic. I do have another couple of books on my phone app and Kindle to read. I usually read those when Jennifer's around because it's hard to hold a book because she tries to climb on me all the time. <laughs> Said, stop it. Um, yeah, so it's all about just trying to read what I can. I mean, like I said, I've, I've I, the in order to complete the challenge, I've got to read four books a week. I've done five, so I'm over for the week. So that's fine. I'm I'm happy. I probably read a bit of. Uh, Thomas Hardy tonight when I go to bed after this. There's cats all over the shop again. So, Zeb, get off of my books! <laughs> He's on my bedside table. I don't mind him being up there, but there's there's drinks on there and I don't want him knocking them over onto my books and making my books all wet. So... What's he doing now? He's always doing something like that. He's a little bugger. Anyway, so yeah. So Jennifer's got a party tomorrow. So well, I've got to do lateral flow tests before we go. It's the rules in Wales at the moment, but that's okay. I don't mind doing them. It takes a little while. Um, and then she's got another one on the twelfth. So I'm doing for that as well. That's twelfth of February though. So I've been doing some photographs for eBay. I haven't done any drafting yet. I will probably do that tomorrow because I'm I'm doing this tonight, which is fine. I'm happy to do this tonight. He's eating to me books. He's into me Marilyn books now. No, leave that up there. Oi. Cats. Who'd have them, eh? Who'd have them? Well, obviously me. Duh. So, yeah, it's a bit much really. This is going to take a while. I'm probably only going to colour Elvis and the stage and some of the lights just to show you how I'm going to do that. Some of them aren't on. This one's not on because there's no beam coming out of it. This one's on. This one's on here. This one's on here. Uh, I think there's one here. Yeah, that's on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I will do obviously his uh, face. And that'll, that'll be in the next one. I'm only going to do another 10 minutes though. So just showing you the different colours I'm using for various bits so it shows up differently. I've just got to go back into my program so it doesn't switch it off completely. So do excuse me. Just go on to an advert. Be sack. Okay, so we're only on about 20 minutes, I think, which is not very long. So I'm going to just do the stage area now. Um, I've got a very dark grey, it's 90% cold grey. 
I don't want it to be black. If it's black, it's going to disappear into his shoes. The soles of his shoes, anyway. But, yeah. Which one is going to take a moment? I have to break out the new prism colour. Red one that I'm using. I have no idea. PC923. I have to make a note of that, I think. I do have another set. Make a note of that on a piece of paper. PC923. That's the red I'm using. I have to make a note of that on a scrap of paper that I've got here for the very reason. And, uh, I love this book. I'm not going to lie. I love the beauty of horror books, but this one I really adore. So. There's a new one coming out later this year, which I will be getting, obviously, because it's the beauty of horror. And I, do, I think this is one of my favourite sets of books, um, these beauty of horrors. They're absolutely brilliant. I think he's so talented. And if that cat doesn't get off of that, oh, he's going to knock that glass flying. Hang on. There goes pencil. Get down. If you don't get down, you'll be going down. Sit on the bed. Do apologise for that. You can sit on me if you want. Come on. You're all right. I just pet him while I'm colouring, he'll be alright for a minute. See, that cats are just, they get in everything, don't they? It's great, they're so sweet. I never was a cat person, I was like, I do love dogs, and, but he is so sweet, he follows me everywhere. Absolutely everywhere, he follows me to the bathroom, if I get up to go to the kitchen to get a drink. Come upstairs, he's right there with me everywhere, go to the hallway. He does not want to be without me at all. Sometimes he does, but most of the time he spends following me around. And It's like when Jennifer was following me around. She doesn't follow me around all the time. She still does a bit, but not all the time like she used to. Oh, she's funny, that kid. So when we come to these bits on his um, jumpsuit, we will actually be using the Pentel Hybrid uh, Gold, I think, for that. Because it's a nice gold. I'm sorry, this cat is... No, the, the, leave the lamp alone. Oh, what am I going to do with him? I'm going to have to keep him out of the bedroom while I'm colouring, I think. Well, when I'm colouring for you guys. <laughs> oh, my life, what am I going to do with him? Oh, I don't know where he's gone now. He'll be back in a bit, I swear. So still watching things like Finders Beepers, History Seekers. Um, uh, there's Mark, is it Mark Dale Explores, I think. That's another one I've been watching. He's really good as well. As well as my colouring ones. I've been reading a lot of... Oh, he's on that table again. Zed! Get down! Leave my pens alone! I'm going to have to go and get him again. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I, um, if he, He's got one more chance. I'm going to have to carry, uh, call it a day if he carries on. <sighs> try and do it without him, like, you know, because he's just, I mean, I understand he's into everything and he's trying to climb, climb onto my work laptop now. So yeah, I've started a scrapbook for Jennifer. This is going to be a scrapbook for this year. So things like the party she's going to will be in there and anything she brings home from school, nursery. Zed, leave it alone. You are getting right on my nerves. Look at this thing. I don't know if you'll see him because it's quite close. But I mean, look, look at this. It's completely black. <laughs> He's gorgeous. He's my baby. You're just going to be a pain, aren't you, to get some attention? Yeah, I think you are. You want cuddles? Yeah, biting my cheek is not going to help, is it? Mm, I love you. Yeah. 
Your mum. Back you go. Let's finish this. <laughs> oh dear. I am so sorry that I am not getting as much of this done as I would have liked to. Is Ab Zed? Look, the lamp on me. He's actually hanging off the lamp. So I have a big photo lamp which lights the page brilliantly. Not so good when Zed climbs on it. Oh, this is a disaster video, this is. It's like a disaster movie. So, don't know where he's gone now. He'll turn up in a minute causing havoc. So what I'll probably do in the next video, I'm gonna colour some of this off camera because it is a double page spread. Um, so I'll probably finish his uh, trousers and all that. I'll do his face next time and I will do one of these girls at the front here but the rest of it, and I might do one of the lights, so you can see I'm going to do that. But the rest of it I'll do off camera, because otherwise I'm going to be here till Christmas just doing this one. And I've got a lot of books I want to colour in, and a lot more that I want to show you. Um, but it's just so hard when you pick a double page spread. Well, somebody asked for it, and that's why I did it, and I'm happy to do that, you know. But it is quite a long one, and I've got so many whips to do. But at least I'm getting through this one slowly. But like I said, most of this I will finish off camera. And then I'll... You'll see it in whenever I finish it. But I will show you how I'm going to colour his skin, what there is of it. His bony hands, the microphone. And probably this one girl here in one of the lamps that's on. So. so I do apologise that this is, is what well, I think we're on 26 minutes. It's, it's not the best because of the cat interrupting. I will try and make sure the cat stays out of my way next time. I have my reading journal, which I am up to date with. Um, I do need a picture for the poison in Paddington. I've got it downloaded. Um, I just got to print it up, but I need some more. I get, I think, 25 images on a sheet of A4. I can't remember what size they are now. 338 by 465, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. And when I've got 25, I print them off. Now, I do have a physical TBVAR in excess of 200 books. 170 are listed in the back, but there's one series that's not because I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to read, it's actually book two. I thought I had book one, but I don't. It's only book two. I'm going to read those. They're not, you don't need to read them all. I think you can just pick and choose. Um, I'm going to read that one. And then I'm going to, yeah, it's not very even, but I will go over it with a colourless blender when I'm done to even it out so I get 25 like I said there's this series that I might not read it all but I'll try and read one of the books if it's all right I'll read the series but I haven't put it on the TBR because I don't know if I'll enjoy it so I don't want to put 30 odd books on there that I might not end up reading anyway because I don't enjoy that kind of uh, book. It's there sort of like historical romances following this family through through the generations. So we'll see where it gets to. But yeah I've got a lot of reading to do and I love reading as you know. That's how this channel started with mostly reading and booktubing and that and I do a lot of uh, book talk videos I haven't posted one for the last couple of days that's not because I don't want to it's just because I've got nothing to say I, how these people I mean they just post rubbish and I don't want to do that and I've got a Marilyn TikTok as well so I do need to do that I was reading a book on Marilyn I've lost the book it's a terrible book um it's one of the more recent ones called Bombshell, how Bobby Kennedy killed Marilyn Monroe or something ridiculous like that. As you can tell, I don't subscribe to those theories, but I don't know where the 
book's actually gone. I had it on the bed the other day and now I can't find it. I think the cat's hidden it. So I'll have to find it. I'm, I'm basically I'm just reading a few pages at a time just to get through it. Um, picking up on errors. I haven't really got to anything interesting. It's just been going on about this bloke that says she was murdered. This is a former LA detective person. It's not really said much about her. They've done a brief overview of her career, some of which was and life, some of which was completely wrong. Um, it wasn't too bad. I've read worse. Uh, but then, you know, I'm waiting to see. I know that he does debunk Robert Slate's set, which is good. But, because Robert Slater was a fraud, but most of the stuff he's advocating for is stuff that Robert Slater made up. So it's it's hard to take him particularly seriously. Now, I'll give him black framed glasses. Yeah, black framed glasses will do because I'll do that. Then we can get on with this uh, rather skull looking face. How his glasses stay on because he's got no nose, I don't know. Up there. I didn't often wear glasses on, sunglasses on stage though. But there you go. Probably did at some points, but not that often. And I'll get a sort of brownie tint on those later. Actually, it's more like Roy Orbison than Elvis with the glasses. <laughs> That's just my thought. No. <laughs> so what I will do is I will put a bit more red and a darker colour on under here once I've coloured all of his jumpsuit in. Because you see this pencil A needs sharpening. I haven't got a sharpener here for it. They're all over the other side of the room. Which is fine, I shall sharpen it tomorrow. I'm just putting on a bit of colour now, just to crack on. Paul was watching TV in the other room a minute ago. He's gone off now, so he must have gone to bed. He decided to go to sleep. I don't blame him, I mean, it's about half past nine. Let me just check my phone. Coming up to half past nine, so yeah, that's fine. This is going to take a long time, this picture. So I don't know what I'm going to colour in next, but... What on earth did that come up? Um, I'll have a look. And maybe we'll do one from Carla Magana, because I possibly could do one of those in one day. In one, one long session. And that would be quite fun, I think, if we did that. So shall, once I finish this, or what I'm going to do on this, should we do a Carla Magana one? I've only got three or four books by her. At least four now. But I'm slowly getting them. Another thing I've, I've, I collect, which I find fascinating, is old photographs. Particularly slides, because slides tend to be cheaper than photo prints for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I haven't bought any for a long time, but I've just pulled a packet from the box I keep them in. Because... I've just found an app where if you use, you can use your computer screen as a white background and then you can scan them in and I've got a negative one as well. Oh hello. And I thought, yeah, that'd be cool and I'm going to try it out and just, just to see. Just to see what it is. Yeah, they didn't do the last... Oh. The last tournament results was so annoying. I'm always missing them. Because my phone crashed and I never got the results. That's so annoying. Never mind. Anyway, sorry. It's a game I play on my phone. Which you're not interested in at all. I need to sharpen this. All right, I am actually going to call it a night because it's getting on. I'm very tired. 
what I might try and do is a bit of this before I film my next contract because look, look how little we've done. I have done the rest of the cape, his glasses, this bit, Zed get off of there! and a little bit of this and it's taking forever so I'm going to do some of it off camera but I will save his face and one of the girls to do on camera and some of the light streams because I'm going to try and make it look like it's a smoky environment anyway I will see you in the next one I'm sorry about the cat interruptions <laughs> I hope you don't mind too much I'll make sure he's not in the room next time I always got down there and I'll see you in the next one so bye guys oh my god